and sunshine Feels like everything stops for a while When we look into each other's eyes How could I ever let you go now When you're looking like that Hi, it's Katie with Hill Country Hands. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today's video is going to be an H-E-B grocery haul and meal plan. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I do motherhood and lifestyle videos every week and I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. It's free and it helps my channel so much. I'm almost to 500 subscribers, which I'm really excited about. You can also go follow me over on Instagram. I'm pretty active on stories over there as well. And excuse my hot messness today. <laughs> I am getting a lot of stuff done around the house and put in an oil treatment in my hair, so that's what's going on with this, but let's jump into today's video. So for meal plans this week, I am going to be doing the um, seafood stuffed salmon tonight with some rice and spinach, some sautéed spinach. Tomorrow night we're going to do our steak night, which we haven't done in a couple weeks. Justin grills us a ribeye. And then I'm going to make some mashed potatoes or baked potatoes and then some steamed broccoli. Sunday I'm going to make the Olive Garden copycat chicken gnocchi soup, which we love. Monday I am going to have Justin have some more some leftovers of the soup and I am going to make myself the um, shrimp meal that I love. Meal simples from H-E-B. Tuesday I'm going to either grill or bake some chicken and just make a big salad and throw the chicken on top. Wednesday I'm going to do a uh, chicken stir fry. I usually just chop up chicken and any veggies that we have on hand and then uh, saute them and then we put them over rice noodles and some soy sauce. It's really good. And then Thursday I'm probably going to do some baked chicken on some pasta roni. So nothing too fancy this week but that is our meal plan. And let's jump into the haul. Okay, starting with the meat, I have two things of chicken strips, just the H-E-B brand um, chicken strips that I like to get. I will use this for the chicken stir fry and the chicken gnocchi. Honestly, any and all of the chicken things that we're making this week, I usually use chicken strips. Um, I have some in the freezer, so I will probably freeze these and pull out some of the older ones. Then this is my favorite bacon wrapped shrimp meal. I love this one because you just pull off the pl plastic wrap and put it in the oven for 30 minutes and it's a meal. If I'm really hungry, I will make some rice or something to go with it, but most of the time I just eat this just by itself. This does just feed me, uh, so it's on nights that I don't need to make something for Justin or I'll make him something else, but it's not super expensive and it's a nice treat to get the bacon wrapped shrimp. Um, it has like Monterey Jack cheese in it and a little bit of jalapeno. It's really yummy. And then Justin and I are going to eat this tonight for dinner. I started getting this a little while ago. It is the salmon and it's stuffed with seafood. So it has like crab and it's just really yummy. Same thing, you just pull off the plastic wrap, put it in the oven. I usually season it a little bit and I think last time I cooked it for 25 minutes and it was really yummy. So we're going to have that for tonight's meal with some sides. Moving on to produce, I was really craving like vegetables and fruit this week. I don't know, I guess my body like really needs it. Feeling a little bit run down. Uh, so I got baby spinach. This will be for the chicken gnocchi soup. And then I also like to just saute this with some um, butter or olive oil and seasonings. It's really good. I got some of these um, little tomatoes. Mackenzie thinks these are cherries. Um, she's had them at my parents' house and she really liked them. So I got them for her and also for me for salads. I got some romaine lettuce. I am planning on doing um, a lot of salads this week. Like I said, I'm just really craving it. I think one night for dinner we're going to do salad and just uh, put some like baked chicken or grilled chicken on top of it. So I got that for that. Strawberries, which we get most weeks. I got blueberries, which we get every week. Mackenzie loves those. I was craving grapes, so I got some grapes. I usually don't let my kids have grapes really because of the choking hazard. I will let them have some. I'll just need to cut them up. And then I got a beet to do shredded beets for my salads. And also I like to boil beets 
and uh, just put butter and salt and pepper on them. Super yummy side, really good for you. I also got some broccoli. Pretty much everybody likes broccoli here, so that's a good side for any of our meals. And then I got some matchstick carrots for the chicken gnocchi soup. I got celery for the chicken gnocchi soup. I got one corn on the cob to put on my salads. And I got some baby bella mushrooms. I like to do this like sauteed with Brussels sprouts or sauteed with onion to put on steaks or just as a side dish. I still have some Brussels sprouts. I grabbed some mushrooms. I usually like to get the single mushrooms and just get like four of them, but they didn't have that as an option, so I got this one. Bananas for Justin and Mackenzie. Justin takes these on his bike rides, and then Mackenzie also likes bananas. Uh, moving on to dairy, I got two of Justin's creamers. I got one thing of the heavy whipping cream for the chicken gnocchi soup. Parmesan cheese for the chicken gnocchi soup. And moving on to pantry stuff. So I saw this on, I think it's Kale Junkie is her Instagram handle. She posts a lot of like really healthy stuff, but a lot of it, she kind of puts like a nice twist on it to where it doesn't seem like it's as healthy as it is. So she did rice cakes and layered uh, peanut butter on it, and then melted chocolate, and then salt flakes, which I've never had salt flakes before. And then I think she said you freeze it for at least 10 minutes and it's supposed to be like a really yummy treat. So I'm going to give that a try. It sounded really good. It was like just a different kind of snack. Then I got the kids their flour tortillas that they love. I obviously was really craving beets. I got some pickled beets to do on salads as well. I got some croutons for my salads. I got some of the bread that the kids like. We were out of soy sauce. Um, I used this for chicken stir fry, and then if we ever get sushi um, takeout delivered, usually they don't seem to always give us quite enough, so I like to have this on hand. Um, the kids love these yogurt bites still as like a snack. I try to save these for when we're out and about and I need to keep them busy. I got the gnocchi for the chicken gnocchi soup. I got us some angel hair pasta. We go through angel hair pretty often. And I haven't been able to get this one. This is our favorite one the last couple weeks. So since they had it, I grabbed one. Uh, we're almost out of the Rayo's marinara. This is our favorite marinara sauce. I got Justin two of the Body Armor strawberry bananas. I always grab a pack of the baby wipes, the three pack. We like the soft sensitive. The wipes are just like thicker. And then Mackenzie kind of showed an interest in applesauce, so I got her a couple of the applesauce squeeze pouches to try. I don't know that she'll like them, but I'm going to give them a try. And then we got the salt for the water softener, my two mini Dr. Peppers, I got a 20 pack of Sprite, and then a 12 pack to put in our pantry just as extra, and then a thing of toilet paper. This is our favorite, is the H-E-B Strong Mega Rolls. We were almost out. I think we're down to like two or three rolls. So, got that. And then the kids did get their donuts, which they are already eating. So that wraps up this week's H-E-B grocery haul and meal plan. I hope that it gave you some ideas of something new to try. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.